Hey guys, so this is my February favorites video. Um, the first one I want to talk about is the Lab Series Skincare for Men um, Instant Moisture Gel. Now I know it says it's skincare for men, but let me tell you, this is amazing. I do have a dupe for this, and I am going to be doing a, an updated skincare routine for you guys, um, just so you guys know what I'm using and all of that, and just give you mini reviews on it. But it's just an amazing product. I don't care if it's for a guy. It works well for me. My favorite foundation is the CoverGirl Outlast State Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. I have been using this like no other. I am currently in the shade Ivory. This is 100% full coverage within one layer and I don't even need um, to use concealer. I have been obsessed with the Urban Decay Alice in Wonderland. You guys already heard me talk about this because I uploaded the Radiant Orchid video. If you want to check it out, uh, link is down below. Um, but the colors, more specifically, is that I have been obsessed with Curiouser, which is this really pretty lilac one, and the Jabberwocky, which is a really pretty black. And so what I have in my eyes today is liner uh, by Sephora, and I don't even know if they sell this anymore, but this is the Flashy Liner Waterproof Ma or Eyeliner in Flashy Black. So the packaging looks like this, but it works wonders. Like, it glides onto my waterline, it goes up onto my tight line, it's super creamy, it really blends, you can smudge it out, it really stays, so I am in love. But my favorite mascara is the Falsies Big Eyes. This is just the best. This is not waterproof, because uh, I find that that one is a little bit different formulation, uh, but overall it's fine, but I prefer this one over that one. Um... It's amazing. Like, I'm wearing it on my lashes right now, and it kind of looks like I have false lashes on. It just, it really gave me the falsies. I always say when I use this, the Wonder Woman MAC, but they have it regular. It's just the penultimate in a different packaging. And it just looks like a felt tip marker. It's really awesome for just creating a, um, a winged effect really quickly. Lips. Um, my EOS lip balm in pomegranate specifically, like this pomegranate one. It's just, I love the scent of it, and this one, it's not weird. Like some of the others I've had, the MAC Supreme, or Sheen Supreme in Asian Flower. It's a really pretty um, orchid shade. I've talked about it a bunch. It's super creamy, so I don't recommend traveling with this when it's warm, uh, just because it will literally melt. Uh, this Benefit Dandelion Blush, I just love it. It's just a really pretty soft pink. You guys know the blush I'm talking about. It's just perfect and wearable for every day, and I just really like the way that it looks. My favorite bronzer is either this one by e.l.f., which I've hit pan on major. It came in this palette, and I just ripped it out of there, so I just have this little square of it. But it's from the one where it's like the contour one, where it's kind of like a dupe for the Laguna and Orgasm by NARS thing, um, where it has the two on the sides, but I prefer the darker shade, because you can get them in different colors now. But the darker shade is the one that I like. The other one that I've been liking is the Bare Minerals and Warmth, and you guys know, maybe you know, um, I didn't like this one when I first used it, it was just really weird and super orangey, but now that I've learned to kind of control how much I use, it looks fine. Another cheek favorite is by Bare Minerals, and this one's in Fruit Cocktail. It's a really pretty pink with a little bit of shimmer thing to set my foundation with is the Rimmel London Stay Matte uh, Powder. Um, and then I forgot to mention this. This is an eyeshadow favorite. This is the MAC Mineralize Eyeshadow Duo in um, Odd Couple. 